Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog here, and for the second straight day, I'm going to get mad. Yeah, yesterday I was mad. It was some kind of message that we received right on, uh, it was on Facebook case. And it was deleted though. Uh, and then they deleted it. That's gutless. You know, stand up for yourself. If you make a comment, make a comment. Don't back away. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get mad again. Are you, you ready, Case? What was the tweet? What did it say? Depression is a choice. Depression is a choice. And that was brought to my attention because uh, it was responded to by Andy Richter. Andy Richter is now in my top favorite celebrities suffering from mental illness rankings. It's kind of like the football rankings. There's, there's Associated Press, there's the coaches rankings, and then there's the ML top celebrity suffering from depression rankings. You should follow him on Twitter, at Andy Richter, being unbelievably candid about his struggles, basically for his whole life. And I love so many of the tweets that I was reading. I mean, I'm going back in time on his timeline. I'm thinking, this guy is great. Where are you being, Andy Richter? So, depression is a choice, is what he responded to. And I think that kind of stuff is healthy when people say it. Now, I know you're probably thinking, no, it's not healthy because it makes us look at ourselves in a way and makes us feel guilty and it feeds into the stigma. But when people say things, it creates discussion. So say it again. Say it like a statement, Case. Well, you're the broadcast. No, say it like a statement to me. Depression is a choice. Oh, really? Depression is a choice. So I think that you think that, Case, and I know you don't think that. I don't think you think that. Do you think that? No. Okay. I think that you think that because you think that you have suffered from depression. You think that, oh yeah, you know what? You go back in your history and say, hey, you know, I've had some bad times and I've had some troubles in my life and everything hasn't gone my way. And I remember being really down and I remember saying to myself, well, I'm really depressed, but you know what? I'm going to continue with my life. You think, you think that because you've had bad times in your lives, because you've struggled in your life, that that means you've suffered from depression and therefore you think that you beat it. You think that you're strong. You think that you beat depression and people like me couldn't beat depression. So you think it's a choice. And the truth is, I hope you never find out just how wrong you are because the only way you could find out just how wrong you are is to feel it. To wake up in the morning and realize that your day is done before you wake up, before you get out of bed, when you realize that you have lost the ability to experience joy. So when you say depression is a choice, I say to you, you never felt it. And until you do, you have no idea what you're talking about. And I think that's a philosophy that most of us should have in many ways, like when, with other illnesses. How can I ever make a comment about another illness? Because I've had a headache, does that mean that I know what it's like to have a brain tumor? Wait a sec. Do I have a brain tumor now? Yeah, and I chose cataracts. Yeah, you chose cataracts. But if I said to you, Case, Case, if I said to you, hey, I know what your eye problems are like, you would go, well, that's ridiculous. I had pink guy once. I know what your eye problems are like. Exactly. Well put. Sicknotweek.com. 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Remember, the message of the day is follow Andy Richter. I got to get him to follow me. That's my new goal. Tell him to follow me. It's a little pathetic. Sicknotweek.com. 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Um, we're here um, because we're, we're now stalking people. We're now stalking Mental health suffering celebrities. You're next, Andy.